welcome back to the channel. This week, the FJ62 is finally running. It's been a hell of a journey getting her to the point that she's ready for sale. But today is the day that we're gonna go ahead and polish her up and take some photos of her and post her online. Let's go through everything we had to do to get her to this point and listen to her purr. spring day here in Virginia. I came to my favorite park where I love to come and take the photos of these trucks before they go up online. We have a little bit of extra polishing to do before we actually get to the photo process, but I wanted to take you through the last minute details of what I did to the truck to kind of bring her to this point now. So in the previous videos, we may have talked about somebody putting bed liner on the truck, which is a huge unfortunate occurrence because I thought, I think the paint would have been phenomenal on this truck. But unfortunately with the bed liner, it's almost virtually impossible to get off without a grinder. So I went ahead and taped it off and put a little bit of black spray paint on it to kind of differentiate the gray to the black and give it a more crisp look. At the same time, I went ahead and sprayed in POR 15 the frame with rust inhibitor so it keeps the frame perfect for years to come. We went ahead and did some seat covers on the truck. Um, because the seats were ripped and I didn't have any brown ones to go ahead and fix that. So if somebody has some before it goes up online, I'd really appreciate if you could reach out. I just neither need the passenger side or a fairly decent cushion for the driver's side. Um, as you can see, the interior is very shiny. That's because we took a lot of time to rip everything out, give her a very detailed cleaning. And if you look at it, it really truly shows how nice this cruiser is. So I was fortunate enough to be able to find some Toyota caps for all the wheels all the way around. Uh, I think that they just needed a little bit of spray paint, which I went ahead and just sprayed some on there, brought them back to life, sanded them down, got all that surface rust off. But I think that it really came out really nicely um, and it really shows. Here in the engine bay lies the biggest issue that I had with the truck. It was weeks of diagnosing, but I finally was able to figure out what was wrong with it. The FJ62, after running to temperature, would run at a consistent 2100 RPM and would not back off and was steady. So I had to go ahead and change out some sensors. Let me go into which ones I did change out and what ultimately was the fix. So there's a few issues that would have caused the high RPM as it sat at 2100 RPM. The first thing that I tried to diagnose was the throttle position sensor, which is right here. I went ahead and switched out to a second hand one that I had and then ultimately went to a brand new one with no change. So we went back to Toyota because um, I felt like that was not the issue. Um, and then we moved all the way to the thermostat because we realized something huge. As you can see here, we went ahead and spliced in some new connectors from an old wiring harness that I had to the temperature sensors on the thermostat housing, which is here. There are three sensors on there, and if they are not working correctly or together, they will cause the truck to run at high RPM. From what I understand, that is because the truck thinks that it's too hot and it needs to dump more fuel to rate, give the uh, motor more time to cool itself with the fan. So once we changed out all those sensors, boom, the truck started running incredibly well. And this is what we did next. Well, of course, after the truck started running really well, I wanted some AC because it's hot in Virginia now. So. We charge the heck out of the AC, woo, and it's cold. Once the truck was running well and the AC was blowing cold and the brakes worked, I wanted to drive the heck out of this thing. So I gave her a nice polish and that brings us here. So we're about to go take some photos of this thing and get this thing online today. I'm really excited for this one to go and really sad at the same time. I do want to do a huge shout out to Classic Motors because I could have not figured out any of that stuff in the motor and thermostat housing without. So thank you Classic Motors for your help and we'll see you when we're taking some photos. How's it run? Well, it's a Mercedes. All right, it's officially time to take some photos of this 62. 
I'm not gonna bore you with that entire process because I already did a video on it on the last truck I sold. So if you're interested in the process of what to take and how to prep your truck for sale, look out for that video. I have a link in the description right here and let's get to work. this week's video. I know it was a little short-lived and not too much of what I actually did in the physical sense of the truck, but I'm exhausted. I'm ready for a break. I still have a little bit more work to do today to get her up online, but guess what? It's almost summertime. The weather's getting better. I'm gonna have so much good content for you in the next coming weeks, so stay tuned. And if you're not so already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you could like and share these videos as it keeps me motivated to keep on finding things like this and putting them online. Cheers! And we'll see you next week.